How's it everybody and welcome back to another episode of Supercar Diaries and also another episode of our Germany Today, Germany tour. Today we are in Dortmund. Your master. JP. Hey. <laughs> anyway, now you know, now you know what, now you know why we're here. God. Right, so we're at the uh, second venue, JP Performance. The man will lead the way. So this is building number one, where the actual tuning really happens, uh, where the customers come. We're still building two to three cars each day, okay. um, all kind of cars. And yeah, and the workshop is behind there. We, we go there later on. Then here we have a very, very fast RS4. Also for me, when one of the best that, soundings. When you say that quick, it's a really fast R4. It's a 1050, <laughs> 1050 Newton meters. Wow. And around 700 uh, HP, what I think is the exact perfect number for it. You can have it faster, yes. but I think this amount of power is reliable. Yeah. <laughs> reliable. Wow. Let me just have a look from yeah. the side. Because wheels play a very big role. Oh. How lovely deep this car is riding. Yo. Then we have a Supra. This is around 1000 HP. And uh, two Jay-Z, single turbo. Friend of ours, uh, Chefchen, he's got one of these. They call it the Widowmaker. Absolutely, no, no doubt. Uh, you need balls for this. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it is dangerous, true. Truly dangerous. This is a quick ask for, and here you need balls. Yeah. There we go. It is way faster because it's lighter and rear wheel drive, and, and, and it is, but it's truly dangerous, really. I only drive it on special days when I need it. Mondays and to Fridays. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, 993 Turbo. This is truly my favorite car of all my cars, and I drive it as a daily car. Are they also feisty when the turbos no, come in? No, that's, that's, this was the first four-wheel drive turbo. Oh, okay. The 964 was rear-wheel drive, but the 993 was a four-wheel drive car. And this is a very safe, good driving car. It uses less than 10 liters on 100 kilometers. It drives way over 300. It's very comfortable. It's, it's, this is really my, my, my favorite car. It is, it's nothing it is wrong about this car. Absolutely Also, stunning. when you look at this view, you don't get tired of that. No, you don't. And um, people s really tell me very often, well, JP, it's so worth it. You can't drive it every day. And I say, you know what? They're cars, man. They're made to drive. Yeah. And, and I really use it. That's fast. I, I love that about you because there's no point in buying these cars no. and then s s putting them somewhere in a garage Some and waiting them do. for the value to appreciate. Yeah, that's, that's, that's not stupid. No, that's correct. And it's good. And I also do that with some cars. But I think especially these, this car is, is really made to drive. And they get better when they drive them. Yeah. When you let them stay for two or three years and you start them, they don't appreciate it. They don't really like, they, they, the turbos, the chain, everything hates it. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, fascinating. And this is lovely just to see. Yeah, we're the main importer for Rodiform wheels. Love that color. Mm. Yeah. And uh, also the wheel business is a big part of it now. Yes, yes. It's a big part of the whole, whole company, whole business. But I would say we go this way because this is where everything nice happens. Everybody wants to see my, uh, my, my, my toilets. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> so you ready? I am definitely ready. Okay. This is where we build all the cars that the people like around the world or see and, and this is really crazy because it's not a big, big workshop but everything happens here and um, yeah, this is the place. And this is a what's, pretty what's dead. Happening here? This is a pretty dead 500e <laughs> uh, with more rust than not rust, 
and we are rebuilding it 100%. Maurice would know because he's got exactly the same car exactly and he's doing it condition. all himself. That's why it's taken <coughs> seven months so far. Okay, you ready for this? Yes. You, I mean, close your eyes. You know how a 500E looks? Yes. Okay. This car will become, you ready? A V12 engine, manual gearbox, long tube headers, like a Pagani, and TUV. V12, manual gearbox, long tube headers, and you're allowed to drive it on the street. And this is, to me, pretty much like a dream car. I think not just to you, if I might yeah, say it. So. I mean, a, a, a car that size, and then a V12, what is cool, and then a V12 manual. Manual, yeah. manual. And then not the shitty headers that is normally on the, on the M120 engine, the V12 from Mercedes. It's, the, it's a manual BMW gearbox. And not a Mercedes gearbox manual because they can't build gearboxes. Greetings. <laughs> That's why a BMW gearbox. And um, yeah. Yeah, I think really is this, this is meant to be a cruiser though or are no. you are you keen to No, we are uh, when when this is running we will take the engine out again make the compression a little higher because it will run with a standalone ECU so we're not really into this 80 90s technology from the ECU it will become a 2021 really modern ECU and then we will try try to run it with 7800 rpm long tube header and then the compression a little higher and then we will see where we end up make new camshafts for it and then what compression ratio are we talking about 12 i will yeah i will try to go 12 it's now 10 the stock engine is 10 it's right over there also for us always when we see the engine it looks like an airplane engine i mean look at it that doesn't look like a stock like a normal engine that looks like an airplane engine it is incredible and this beast goes into this little car mm. really yeah then um i love how this just looks like a workshop sometimes you go into places and it's so polished and licked which normally isn't a it bad, is which isn't a bad thing but i i as a teenager i worked uh, on weekends in a in a shop like this and they sometimes would just scream what tool they needed and then everybody would start digging no, trying no, no. To find it. this is for me not <laughs> it's so not it's not like that but it's nice to see that yeah. it's still yeah, machines for and me, not just electric. For me it is not nice that you see it that way because it's not normally that way but we are restoring two cars mm -hmm. the uh, uh, Audi Ur Quattro yeah. what is not here right now and the 500e so the, they, they both make a lot of dirt many many things for example the um, the Super Golf is a project where we're really trying to show as much as possible what we are able to do I love the name Super Golf mother the, mm -hmm. the, 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 the. Right. <laughs> <laughs> could you could you just peek in here with the camera? The boost gauge goes up to four bar and it goes over four bar of boost. There was a uh, Maurice told me about the Ferrari F40 LM with twin turbos 2.6 and he says 2.6 is ludicrous. But it's oh. but uh, F40 <laughs> drives 1.6 because the old gauges they add, add atmospheric pressure, so it's 1.6 bar. But we go four bar over, so it on the old gauge it would be five bar. <laughs> Holy moly! Holy moly! What in the world is this? This is very dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> to drive it or to come close to it? Should I go? Uh, no, to close, to come close is not a problem, but to drive it, we have to work on it a little bit more because in the moment it's too dangerous. It's around three seconds only by pressure 200. And this feels not nice because to have power going through a timing belt or, or going through a drive shaft is different to turbine power. To it's accelerate, like it's connected, but it's disconnected, right? It's it feels slow, but it's not <laughs> because it's it's starting so smooth, but then a normal car starts hard and gets smoother. Mm -hmm. This starts smooth and gets way more extreme at the end. 
So, um, yeah. So this is now 165 kilos of boost, of pressure. But it weighs with me 175 kilos. So when you're on the brakes, yeah, it it's already moves when you're on the brakes. It's, it's, it's stronger than the weight and on brakes. So, so hang on. So you, you're in the car. In the car. 179, let's say 180 kilos. You got your foot on the brake and the, yet the car is moving. Absolutely. And then you stake your foot off the brake. And then shit happens. And you... <laughs> and then... He's still here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> no, then, then, then stuff really happens. Unbelievable. Was this your idea? Of course. Of co yeah, why well, I mean, Of course, of course. <laughs> I would love to know what else goes on in your mind. Hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. Hello. You. Yes. Hello. Uh, bonjour. <laughs> this is the most important guy for me. Yeah. In the whole company. Yeah. By we far. Came in this morning in the office. I saw the dog beds. I was like, oh, yeah. I got a dog lover. No, I, I love dogs. You got one or two? No, I don't have none. I, have, I don't have a you dog. You don't have? Because I think my life is not in a position right now that I can give a dog the right life, but I'm working on it. And I think I will get a dog this year or next year. So did you just talk to a random dog? No, 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 no. This is our, our company dog. <coughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. He's, <laughs> he's an employee. He works here. Okay. Back to the car. Yes. So. Um, you said the most beautiful car you guys have yes, built. Yes, I think. Why I think are because. You saying that? Um, the proportion is, it's very perfect and not because of us, mm -hmm. because young people, I'm pretty sure will recognize this car. This car is from Gran Turismo. Mm -hmm. It's a car originally hundred percent out of the video game. So every angle is hundred percent precise from the video game. The reason why I know it is because we contacted Volkswagen. Yeah. They said, well, yes, that's a pretty nice car, but. We didn't build it. That's what I said in the beginning. So then we contacted Sony. Okay. Sony said, yeah, yeah, we were involved in this car, but uh, this guy did it. So we really emailed all over the world, then to Japan, then to California, because there was a designing studio in California from VW, and they said, yeah, no. And then back to Germany, and then we found the real guy. And then they were so kind to really give us the original data every millimeter from the from the original file and from that file on we built the body kit and um yeah everything is 100 percent precise what's under the hood because you want to start the with first that? the first well i saw this yeah and this this is actually on the other side as well which means there's something really mean up there yeah, was, when you look here drilling. you yeah. can see a little you see the two silences over there and there's a lot of uh, heat resistant mm -hmm. schnicky schnacky. It looks gorgeous. Yeah, schnicky schnacky. Right. Uh, you want to see the engine? I would love to. Okay. You open it here. You ready? Oh, no ways. <laughs> you love these, don't you? Yeah, but that's a 2.5 liter five cylinder from the RS3. Oh, um, so sorry for the noises. It's just hard to contain. This is, yeah. Can I touch it? Yeah, you can touch it. I can also start it if you want to. Give me a minute. <laughs> you goodness, goodness, goodness. <gasps> so truly. <laughs> So it's also a long tube header and the long tube header in combination with the five cylinder and the, ki the style of exhaust makes a very, very, very unique five cylinder sound. And I know you like it. So yeah, right. But we have to give the car a jump start. Well, it's not a problem mm. because we're running these kind of fast cars with motorbike batteries. Okay. They're cheap and small and light, <laughs> right? <laughs> Old school. <laughs> Can I take a picture of the engine? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but if it's on your phone, it's always, you know, it's immediately somewhere else. So 
So now, the sound will be very different, okay? Yeah. Drives really like a stock car. But to drive it good, look here. Look right here. Because think about it, it's a 22 inch wheel on a Beetle. 22, that's a lot of wheel, yeah. Profound, absolutely stunning. This is properly loud. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, my goodness! Wow, this is something special. Oh. This is way better than cool. This is... Oh, oh my word, dude. You always have to be careful to not open the door too long. Because oh, if, if, you, if, you leave, yeah, if, if you leave the door <laughs> open too long, it's too close. <laughs> Thank you for that experience. I mean, it must be so incredible to drive this I mean I'm it just is. I'm not hinting I'm not hinting but it's just from the sensation from it's the a, engine it's a from the liveliness from the sound it changes no, no, the, the, the difference is the sound is here yeah and your head is here wow when we go later on to the museum you will see different cars we, we made cars with the turbochargers here but it's still after the wind but this is the purest and close you can get to what we like yeah because if the exhaust at the rear of the car yeah it's pretty it's, far it, away you're listening to history exactly man. but this or when the flames shoot out of the car and flames the, oh yeah oh yeah so you really you in the car and the flame is really going this <laughs> yeah marshmallows <laughs> out the window no, it's a very, very special car, oh, and it was man. a lot of work because every body part is made, and this just makes it very, I think, pretty cool, a special car. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, JP. That's fascinating. I, I think, think that far, wraps up yeah. Yeah, this okay. episode. Or were you going to say something else? No, 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 no. I'm good. Okay. okay. It's, it's better so for me because it's, it's it's a wrap for this one, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next episode. We're going to go to the museum. Right. Bye. Oh, gosh. Mm -hmm. I'm a little bit turned on and a little bit in my car and a little bit, uh, this is, this is precious. Thank you so much for joining us. And if you guys haven't, feel free to like and subscribe to our channel. You can also follow us on Instagram, me personally, Beyond the Cork, on Lovey Tech Group. And of course, you all know JP, there's the man. Bye. Just by the way, I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to tune in for that. Adios. A lot of cars, a lot of space, a lot of room. <laughs> Okay.